if a country doesn't have water, it obviously affects everyone. It affects the economy, the food, health, housing, and this is probably only the beginning. Because it's actually very simple to do the math. This is La Paz in 1984. You can see the size of the city in red. This is in 1989, 1994, 1999, 2004, 2009, and 2016. If you compare the two pictures, the one of 1984 and the last one, you can see how much the city grew. Because since the day my dad was born, around 1960, Bolivia has more than triplicated their population. In just around five decades, we went from 3.3 million to more than 11 million. This means three times more water consumption. And what alarms the most is that not only our consumption is growing, but our reservoirs are decreasing incredibly fast. This is a picture of the nearest glaciers from La Paz in 1984. This is in 1989, 1994, 1999, 2004, 2009, and 2016. Again, if we compare the first picture with the last picture, we can see how much glacier we've lost. In fact, in these last 32 years, we went from 530 square kilometers of glaciers to 300. That is 43% less. And if you compare the size of what we lost, it's about the same size as 23,000 soccer fields. Or a little bit more than the entire autonomous city of Buenos Aires. Or almost four times Manhattan. Or actually bigger than the entire city of La Paz and El Alto together. So imagine all of this, and actually a lot more that is not visible, filled with ice. That is how much we've lost in the last 32 years.